Hi everyone, my name is Mark Moikins, and today I'm going to be covering the properties of the view, the UI view more specifically, and you'll see it in almost every control that you put on your scene here, your view controller scene, you'll see these view properties. So I'm going to start a video series that covers every single one of these properties so you can understand what they mean. You'll see them all the time and no matter what control you put on the view controller, so I figured it would be a good idea if you knew what they all meant. So you can take advantage of them and use them where it's appropriate. So the first one I'm going to start out with is the content mode. Content mode, that one is kind of tricky. Here I have a UI, UI image view. And you're probably familiar with it using it in this scenario where you know, you've used these top three properties for your image. You, know, you have the scale to fill, which will take the image and fill it up. And then aspect fit, where it maintains the same aspect ratio of the original image, which is like right here. Um, and fills up the space as much as possible. And then you have aspect fit where it totally fills up the space as much as possible, but it sacrifices parts of the image where it's going to, it, it could possibly cut the image off. So those are the top three that you're probably most familiar with. The other ones, they are just positioning. So, you know, you see this UI image view, it's actually larger than the actual image. And what it does is if, you know, say if I use this like top right and it puts it up here in the corner, now when I change my orientation, it's going to keep it up in that corner, uh, no matter where it is. So here, you know, it, it's under the label. Uh, you might have thought that maybe if I switch it, it's going to stay over here, but it doesn't. It'll redraw it in the position that you tell it to uh, right here. And that's about the extent of content mode that you'll probably be using, using it for. Anything besides that, you'll probably <laughs> won't even use it for your career in iOS development. I never have, but um, I'll tell you some things about it. I'll tell you what might be helpful is what it isn't. So what it isn't is, let's get rid of that image view and let's draw, let's put like a button on there. And, oh, I don't know, let's put a text field on there. So you might have some controls on your UI view. And you might think, oh, well, maybe I can do the same thing with that content mode, you know, maybe I can just keep this up in the uh, top top left corner, and it will keep it there. No, it won't. Uh, well, in this case, it will. <laughs> oh, it will because <laughs> because that's where I originally put it. But let you know, let me choose a different example. Let's put it in the top right. So now you might think, when I, oh, when I change this, it should stay over in the top right corner of this image view, but it doesn't because it doesn't mean what you might think it means. Content mode only refers to things that are drawn within the, the UI view, which includes images, and also includes paths, if you draw paths uh, inside the UI view, which most people won't do in their career. And if you do, you can actually give your paths positions inside the view, so it still doesn't matter what you pick for content mode. But I just want to make that clear that even though you know it has all these different options, a lot of times content mode does not apply to anything besides an image view. So that is your first property content mode, and that's about the extent of it. So I hope that clears some things up for you of you know what you can use it for and what you can't use it for. <laughs> but yeah, mostly you're just going to be using it for your image view, repositioning the image inside of the view and scaling it to fit the size of your UI view. Okay, if you have any questions or comments, you know, please feel free to leave them. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. If you subscribe, you're going to find out next what semantic means, how you can use that, what tag means, and how you can use that for different scenarios. I'll also be covering the different interaction options and showing you examples for those. Background, alpha, you might know about those, so you might not learn too much from there. But Tint, I learned some very interesting things and some useful tips on what you can use that for. So you might find that helpful as well. And then, we'll, of course, we'll cover all the uh, drawing properties here. And stretching. Stretching, this is another one that is it's deprecated, actually. Uh, it's not used anymore. There's a, another way. But I will teach you what it's used for, and then I'll show you the new way of how you use stretching. And, of course, we'll cover installed as well. All right, thank you very much and have a good night.